trampolining isn't just backyard summer fun, it's also an Olympic sport. Find out everything you need to know and impress your friends this summer with your knowledge of Olympics trampolining. Trampolines were invented here in the U.S. during the 1930s, and the U.S. held its first trampoline championships in 1948. They were also used to help train for sports like diving, gymnastics, and freestyle skiing, but they eventually became popular in their own right, and a new sport was born. Trampolining made its first Olympics appearance at the 2000 Games in Sydney, with both men and women's competitions. Today, there are still two gold medals up for grabs, one for men and one for women. In trampolining, athletes perform airborne acrobatics after springing off the trampoline, so you'll see lots of jumps, somersaults, and twists. The tricky part is the routine must always start and finish on the feet. You must land and hold still for a count of three seconds before moving. Each performance consists of 10 difficult skills and lasts for about 60 seconds. Scoring for trampolining is pretty complicated, but here are the basics. Athletes are scored on difficulty, execution, and time of flight. The difficulty score starts at zero and you earn points as you go along. The execution score begins at a 10 and the judges deduct for errors in performance such as a break in form or an extra bounce. Time of flight is a machine which measures the total flight time of the gymnast. So your difficulty score plus execution plus time of flight equals your final score. This year is actually the first Olympics that will measure time of flight. Fun fact. The health benefits of trampolining might surprise you. Rebounding is actually more effective than jogging, and you can build upper and lower body strength just as effectively as weightlifting. So this Olympics, impress your friends with these fun facts. Thanks for watching Fit Sugar TV.